All right, here we go. It has come down to this. The final part of Remnant 2. At a certain point in this video, we're fighting the final boss. I get it to like 40% health or so, and my hands are just trembling. I'm pressing the wrong keys. You may not see it in the video, but I like legit afterwards, I held my hand out in front of me, and I was like, that's insane. Like, my hand was going crazy. I've only felt that feeling a few times. When you're like in a battle royale and you're like in a top situation where it's like you and the other team or it's a 1v1 and that's for everything stuff like that I've actually felt that same vibe but whew, that was a tough fight anyways love you all thanks for all like supporting this series it was a short game but I really really enjoyed it and afterwards I show the uh, there's like an after credit scene and there's like some kind of epilogue thing with it that I think if you skip the credits you actually don't see it so anyways love you all let's go ahead and get this We're doing this the hard way. Wait! It won't work! Anomaly. Step aside. You did it. We're here. This is our one chance. If we stop the route here, it's done. For good. Corruption eradicated. can break the shield, but it'll take everything I've got. I'll be powerless. All right. Once we do this, there's no turning back. Either you win, or... Say it. Or it's the end of everything. Anomaly, your chance of success is greater than zero. I was... Attempting to reassure you? Yeah, thanks. Very comforting. Come on, let's do this. Think you're ready? Uh, I'm not ready. Hold on. Okay. Are we about to fight Come the final boss ready. of the game or something? Because I really need to go back and buy some stuff. Or upgrade my guns if I can. Haven't done that in a while either. Man, the healing model in this gun has saved me so much. I know I can put it on other stuff too, but I just... Yeah, we're there. Okay. Go back to the ward really quick. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the extra dragon heart thing, because I feel like this is just something that... Oh, wait. I don't have enough crystals, do I? How many of those do I have? I have exactly ten. Let's go, baby. Exactly enough to get this. Kind of wondering what happens if you re-roll, like, when I fought those same bosses I just fought, you know? Traveler. They don't like it when I help you, but... Alright, uh, here we go. Relic charge. Bye, traveler. Make sure we're good. Alright, we got five of these now, which is good. So can I... Hold on, what is the, the best... I think it's because this right here is not upgraded. Okay. I'm trying to raise my power level a little bit. I don't think it really matters. I don't think it changes how much damage you do or anything like that. I just think that maybe... The healing over time type stuff is not worth it as much as I'm thinking it is. I'm feeling like the range stuff might be better because I really want to try it with this. Maybe, you know, let's try it really quick. I wonder how far back I can get from here. If I stand like... Let's just test this out. Live experiment. Here we go. Let's take off. Taking enemy damage causes... Okay. I like this because it's just random. You get hit, you get health back.
using a mod. So if I use... Basically, if I'm shooting the other stuff too, it can stack. Yeah, I think those both play hand in hand. So let's see what the other ones... I have to give up one of these. Okay, let's just do... Let's take this off. Let's try... Where's that range one I had earlier? Hold on, that right there is really nice. Mod damage, that's also really good. Here it is. Increases range on all firearms by 4 meters, reduces spread by 15%. So let's do like, before and after I guess. So let's try it with... We're doing 18 per, okay. I back up, does it do anything extra? This just says increases the range, so there's no damage fall off, I guess, on that one. 45 body. 45 body. Let me back all the way up. Let me get, like, over here. 42. 42. 65. 42 from right here. Oh, this person's walking. 42. Or if I take the ring off, does that change it? Just put anything on. It does. Three extra damage, which, I mean, is it... <laughs> is that really worth it, though? <laughs> I don't know. I think that might be good. Now that we know we're over here, hold on. It was always 18. This doesn't change at all. So that's never going to be a different thing. Okay. Well, I guess we now know what to expect there. It's good I tested that. Greetings. Forgive me. Ooh, I am Wait, we've already done all this. I've heard that's like a random glitch that can happen. Okay. Feedback. Let's see. Increases mod damage by 10%. Mutator. I have to research some of these. Hold on. Wait, what? Three seconds? No way. Oh, no, what's this say? Reloading increases damage. Oh, it's the next shot. Okay. Mod damage. I'm not gonna lie. I really wanna get this. All the roads not sure where we put this at, but I wanna see if... Is it like a mod I just put on, like, this thing? No, it wouldn't be that. Give me one sec, because I'm not really sure where this goes or what I'm supposed to do with it or how I actually use it. Unless it's just something that just gets randomly like a passive type thing you can equip. Yeah, because I don't see any other way to... Hmm. Yeah, give me one sec, because I'm really not sure how this works. I really want to figure this out before we go any further. Alright, so after reading online about this, apparently everything has a mutator slot on it. So let's go ahead and see. So if I want to change these out... I mean, if I want to use this weapon all the way, which I'm probably going to... Picking up ammo uh, range damage... That right there is really nice. But I feel like aiming continuously is also really strong. Level 10 critical hit chance increased by 10%. That's level 10 though. What are the other ones I currently have? Faster reload, essentially. Okay. I mean, honestly, the one I currently have is nice, but I like that you can kind of... 20 seconds. This is continuously. I think that's better. What do I have on... Let's see, this one. I don't have anything. All right. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Same thing, Deadly Calm. Wait, did I not equip the right one on the other one? Range damage. I think this is the one you want on this. Yeah, Deadly Calm. Okay, so I must already had the other one. Interesting, okay. Well, now I know that. That's the more you know. 
Can I increase? I wonder how much scrap it actually costs or what I actually need to use to upgrade this gun anymore. I already have it at like plus, what, 11 or something? All right, galvanized iron. I can upgrade it one more time. I really want to try this out because apparently this thing is nasty. Uh, but let's just use this. You know where to Using it the whole game. Might as well keep going with it. Yeah, the same consumables too. I haven't really used two through five much. I just don't really feel like it's worth it right now, unless I get stuck on something. Which I mean, we could be fighting the final boss here in a minute, and I could get stuck on that. So we'll see. It'll be a long video. We'll find out. Oh yeah, let's talk to her. You ready? All right, let's get it. Oh my god, is this the final boss of the game? Well, here goes. Flying boss, oh my god. Ow. Okay. I got one shot. I think they all hit at the same time, actually. I'm probably dead here. Alright, well, we know what we're up against now. It seems like the stagger effect in this game is pretty strong, so... I could be in for it. Here we go. <laughs> is this the boss everybody's been talking about? I don't know what's about to happen, but... Well... I guess we'll just keep fighting until we finish it. That's the goal, right? Seems like there's audio cues, though, whenever... Alright, nice. It actually connects. One there, you can hear it, too. Okay, so if you don't shoot those things... Got you. If you don't shoot those things, it pretty much just... GG's. One. One. I hate that sometimes I accidentally have the wrong thing on.
Alright, we're gonna be here a while, it feels like. It's currently Friday night where I'm at. At like 10 p.m., so I have a feeling I may not be done with this for a very long time. This is definitely a step above everything else as far as difficulty. You can just feel it, you know? One, okay. One, there we go. Wait, headshot actually does good damage. Always destroy those, got you. Thought I was good there. That gun helped me out right there. I did it way too soon. <laughs> You're getting hit by that. That can't be it, there's no way. The first game, the final boss had two phases. I would not be surprised if it's the same thing here. Or possibly a third phase after this one. Oh no, what is that? Uh, what? Okay, well, that didn't work. I don't have any bullets. Yo, that's crazy. Alright, there's like two things happening there. Okay, one thing I will say is we got to the second phase. That was pretty quick, too, how we got there. Uh, first phase doesn't seem near as bad. Now, that second phase has a lot going on. I'm just going to look at my stuff really quick. I may go back and buy some uh, items. Regenerate my power per second last 66 seconds. 66 seconds? Really? I could continuously get pills and stuff. Okay. I may put that on. My goodness, that's actually nice. Um, let's quick slot that to two, I guess. Okay, consume and restore 10% max health instantly. All right, when consume the hero, oh, that's a return to the checkpoint thing. Okay, uh, I didn't see any other stuff. I mean, I could use this pellet thing, but it really doesn't seem worth it. Oh, it was already on there. Okay. Hmm. Let's keep trying, I guess. We got to phase two pretty quick, so what was that like my second or third try? I got to phase two. I think it was the third try actually, and then Yeah, we're just gonna have to keep keep trying this. We'll get it eventually. 
Let me tell you something. Ever since I played Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, that Senator Armstrong fight was... One... What's that middle bread? Yo, I'm like stuck on something. I can't move. It's like I'm stuck on the edge right here. I can't roll out of it. Let me get out of this. I'm probably, I'm probably dead here. Yeah, I'm stuck. That's actually insane. I can't move anywhere. My only hope is to just kill him before he gets to the next phase. I can like stare on the edge though. Smaller chance there. <laughs> about to say. All right, here we go. Okay, that's gonna be the. Uh... Come on! I'm just trying to survive. There's just so much going on right here. I'm dead. Hmm. Partially thinking glass cannon might be the play. Uh. Taking a look really quick. I feel like this gun's not as useful for this fight as I would like, but I have to actually use it in order to use the Chaos Driver thing, so... Hold on, what does it say? Okay, so... 10 seconds, 28 shock per second. I need to increase this more. I feel like if this was like plus 10, it would absolutely cook, you know? I kind of like that if I go kind of stand still, it increases the rate of fire because of this thing. And <laughs> it makes the uh, range damage go up by 10% after I do it for just a few seconds. You know what? Let's just keep trying. I didn't use any consumables. My goal is to not use any consumables as much as I can until I get to a moment where I'm like, Alright, I got my dog revive and, you know, I haven't used any hills or something like that. That second phase is a lot going on. I just got to study it. God, I just uh oh, I'm probably dead here. He's gonna come at me. Yep. I got a nice little audio cue. By that still, really? Good. 
I it's like I was trying to save the dog revive thing. Oh well. I should do it. There we go. Okay, you can actually just I'm trying to heal up. Ah. You know what kills me? Sometimes I'll get the mods mixed up. Because I think I'm... I, I never changed it to where I can switch guns without having to scroll wheel. You know? So sometimes I'll think, oh, I need to switch to the other one and I've already got it. Because it's barely tapping. It keeps changing them. So. All right. We should be able to do this. I'm going to try popping one of these consumables here in a minute. I'm going to use this first and then just see if I can at least get this first phase very quick. Because if I can at least get a nice damage phase on the other one. That double, okay. I wish I also saved my uh, maximal ability things for the next phase if I can. It's like, before I could even get unstaggered from the first one. Thank you. they're taking it out. I'm probably going to just have to wipe here. Come on. I didn't hear an audio cue on that one. No audio cue. So every time you swipe, you hear that little ching, you know, that little noise. And that time I didn't hear it at all. All right, let's see if we can get this. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. If I, if I get to a point where I just feel like I'm not doing anything right... I'll probably just farm and like restart my recording for the boss fight, but I think I should be fine. Let's go ahead and use. I'll just throw that into the thing. Very nice, Brad. But actually.
I did it way too soon. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's right there at my feet, too. That's what kills me. I guess I can roll back on it. Man, that was actually a good run, too. Had the hill rocked in the beginning of that, I felt like I would have been fine. I feel like I'm making progress. Whether or not my guns I currently have are actually worth it, I feel like this is nice early on, but here's what I'm thinking about trying. Saving these seven? I know it regenerates some. It gets back to, like, two, and then it stops. I'm just going to go ahead and also use my other thing first. That way I can just get... Go ahead and start aiming down sight a little bit. I am absolutely cooking right now. First phase without getting touched, I think. It's gonna start now, though. I gotta hurry up. Back out here now. I'm oh, I'm back in here now? Okay, I don't know what's going on. So it goes back and forth. I thought we just stayed in here for some reason. Please just reload. I'm probably dead here. Uh, this is my last hill. I just realized that dog can't get me anymore. kind of thinking about right now this is gonna sound wild but partially thinking I'm having trouble with the hills right and I'm kind of wondering if maybe I should just swap out the healing shot for something else you know like this right here was actually really nice 
Let's just try it. You can't aim continuously either because it's kind of hard to see everything with all the stuff going on. All right. Um... Stamina and movement speed aren't really that crucial right now for this. I mean, I really like this ring a lot, but I just want to see what else we got. The reload speed. That might be nice. Let's put that on. Let's try and random stuff out. Not using any consumables just yet. Try to go glass cannon really quick. We got the E and the Q still. Wasted it. No. That is not what I wanted at all. I'm probably dead here. I already missed my healing. All right, so something I didn't know I had is this right here. Look at this thing. That's actually insane. Increases range of fires by 30%. Put that on instead. I, I would imagine that does more, right? Reload speed. Okay. Hopefully that helps me a little bit too. Did I just... Why does it keep doing that? I just randomly threw this at the beginning of the fight. I should just reset now, but it is what it is. Try to save all this for the second phase, but I feel like sometimes it don't connect at all.
Yep, big trouble. I, man, I just like I wasted that completely. Last two, I think. Yep. I feel like it would be easier if I just had an ammo box. I think buying those is probably going to be my next step if I can't get this done with what I currently have. I also don't know if... I mean, having the hills is kind of nice because sometimes I can just aim at my feet. Man, this trait, though, just takes 90 seconds. That's the next level. It's 105. And I don't think you can change these at all. So. Let's look at something really quick. We got ranged fire rate healing effectiveness. Let's see. Hold on. What does this say? Uh, modern skill cast speed. Damage reduction. Gray health rate. Interesting. Stagger damage, okay. Uh, stamina recovery delay. Weapon spread. I don't know what to go with here. I mean, damage reduction 1% is not going to make a difference, I feel like. Not at this scale. Like, I feel like everything... The healing effect of this is fine. Um, mod cost. I think those are probably fine. What does this other one do? Let's see. 5 health is gray health to 40. Okay. Hmm. I put this ring on thinking it would do something else, but... So we, right now, here's what I'm currently using. I got this right here, which is insane. 30%. Max health by 10 and armor by 15. I, I could probably take that off if I needed to. Um, after dealing 20% of weapons total damage, or magazine base damage, stacks 5, okay, so, basically after a full clip, if I hit all my shots, that is, yeah, I get a, what, a 15% a reload buff there, not even sure if that's really needed, for every 10% uh, gain, All right, for every 10% of health missing, max 50%, gain 3% chance to not consume Relic. Put that on. That's, that sounds like it's way better. Use my, okay, generates 10% of max health over 10 seconds. Can stack up to All right, let's try this again.
All right, here we go. It's been a tough fight, man. I don't know. I've changed a few things. I'll go ahead and show you what I'm actually using now. So here's what I've swapped to. Uh, still got the same amulet. Um, this one, I'm not sure if I'll keep it on. The one where I'm taking damage and I'm getting health back seems better than this. Where's that one at? Yeah, I mean, you're getting health back constantly by using that. I put this on because I feel like... A chance to not consume relic is insane. Max health. I don't know if this was necessary, but it is a nice little bump to my stats. This right here I didn't know even had. Increases range of firearms by 30%. Hmm. This is definitely a way harder fight than any other part of the game right now. Definitely has a huge gulf between pretty much everything else. Trying to get to the other phase first. Ah, I wasted it. Trying to get ammo. Look at all that long range ammo right there. The wake up. All right. Okay. <laughs> Can't even do anything. Can't even be mad at it. It is what it is. Studying all the different, like, cues and stuff is going to take some time kind of memorizing the patterns, the... Hold on, let me see something really quick. I just want to see something really quick. All right. This, if I can pop this right when I go through, will be nice. You know? If I can say the Q and the E both for like when I start the next area, you know? Hi, what am I doing, Brad? I don't have much ammo right now. That's all I got. Am I still good? Oh, I still I didn't use it. Woo! I was so worried there.
hate that my hill was back that way. I'm just trying to survive. You get staggered so much, man. My goodness. Running out of ammo doesn't seem... So if I didn't have to look for ammo, I could easily just... If I use an ammo crate, I could essentially just get ammo whenever I needed it. You know, I could take like a minute before... Like, what if I reloaded before I actually went through, or at least gathered ammo? I could just do that. Let's try it. I didn't mean to do it that fast. Oh well. gathering ammo. Can't do anything else. Yo, where's all the ammo? have any bullets.
So glad I still have that. I'm not sure if I used it early on or not, but this is definitely tough. Hang in there, dog. Final phase. I'm healing up just in case. Oh man, my heart is pounding right now. Now you tell me. I hope the void not come to this. Come to what? Hey. Hey! There's gotta be a way. What are we doing here? There's not a goddamn way. Only two have come for me. The corruption consumes us all. Or... Keep! What's going on? Why... Why isn't it staying dead? The corruption is violent. Containment is no longer a viable option. The only outcome left is... Annihilation. To eradicate the corruption. The system must be restored. Okay. What the hell does that mean? It means wiping everything. Starting over. Starting over? I thought we were trying to stop that from happening. We have no choice. The root will destroy everything. do that. I'm actually nervous like I'm gonna die again. Woo, okay.
After that boss died, I held my hand out in front of me. And you talking about trembling. <laughs> Spent about almost an hour on that fight. I'm gonna let the credits play out. I've heard if you... Hold on. I've actually heard if you skip the credits that you miss out on something. So I'm gonna let it actually play out, play out, and just talk. Um, man. The game was actually kind of short. I didn't expect it to be that short. So we did... Okay. Think about the first few videos and then... Like, as I'm recording this, I've only put up to part three. And... I'm still editing a lot of the other stuff, but this ending kind of came abruptly. I didn't really expect it to be so soon, you know? That final fight, though, was definitely... Whew! I don't know. I think I had the right weapons. I think I had a lot of the great rings that you want to use for something like the range damage came in very clutch. I could actually feel the difference. Now, one ring, I don't even know where I got it from. Might have been playing with a friend and he was like an adventure somewhere and I got it there, but... Man. Reminds me of the first game, that final boss in the first one. It's like the first phase is very quick and then that second phase you get... Teleported and all that stuff. And it's kind of the same principle, I guess. Except there was so much more going on here. Uh, I just had a lot of ammo issues, which I could have just bought some ammo boxes from that guy back at the uh, War 13 area, but... Kind of happy I finished this. I was actually unsure if I'd be able to anytime soon because... All these games are about to be dropping and I want to cover a lot of stuff. I don't want to invest too much time into, you know, doing this, so... I felt like this is the perfect... I guess amount of time to spend on a game right now. I just felt like the overall... What they've created is just way better in the first game. In every aspect. The co-op seems better. The world. The different types of areas. I do miss that one, like, swamp type area in the first game. Forgot what it was called, but it had, like, that butcher guy. And you would, like, hide in the pots. And then he would teleport. You could, like, creep down the stairs, crouching. And then you all hop in, like, those little, like, pots he has in the corner. And then you fight him down there to kind of limit, I guess, where you can go. But... Yeah, I think overall this game has a lot of stuff I haven't seen yet. I mean, I bet I only scratched doing the main story. So if I only... I'm actually thinking about like parts 4 and 5 if I would skipped all that exploration. I probably could have beat this game in like 5 or 6 hours. Granted, now, I will say this. Doing that extra side stuff I did helped out because I had enough dragon hearts at the end. I had 5. Um, that one ring where I didn't consume it, I think it actually came in clutch there. Because I swear I used a hill in that second area, or the second phase, once or twice, and it didn't actually go through, which is kind of nice. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff I want. I'm going to keep playing this. I actually have a friend that I'm going to be playing this with a lot after I finish it. But if you like any extra videos for it, let me know. They'll always have some DLC, I'm sure, for stuff like this. The first game had like... One or two DLCs, as far as I remember. The story was kind of, you know, it is what it is type thing. Warner Brothers game audio. Interesting. Yeah, I want to skip the credits, but I kind of wanted to see what it is. So what I'll probably wind up doing is if I get done talking, I'll just probably transition. And I'll let my, I guess my PC just record everything for a little bit. And then I'll add on the, if it's an extra scene or epilogue or something like that, I'll just leave it in. So... Uh, thank you for all the love and support on this series. Kind of a short game, but I'm actually happy that it wasn't... I read online as like a 20-hour game. And when I read that, I'm like... Who's taking 20 hours? I just realized I can't even imagine that boss fight on the higher difficulties. Like, when I first started, I almost chose the middle one. And then I remembered... Somebody told me... Because when I got the game, I got the game kind of early. I remember them saying that the survivor difficulty is actually just normal. Which I thought it would be easy, but it wasn't. Uh, that last boss before the final boss is also kind of tough. So, but yeah, that's all I got to say. I think the game was overall great. If you like these types of games, this is definitely one of the better types for it. The Dark Souls stuff, you like the Division, any kind of loot-based stuff. Now, I do wish the game had a little bit better armor. Like, you can't upgrade your armor at all. Now, I can't remember in the first game if you could or not either, but I just felt like I had a lot more stuff in the first game that I could upgrade. But all the rings, I mean, you get so many rings. That's just so much to take in. Fun fact, I actually finished... <laughs> so, I... Last night finished Final Fantasy 16. finally. I did like a three-hour... Actually, about a... 
three to four hour session last night to finish it. And then today I got home and I was like, let me just record a little bit of this. And I did like an hour and then I realized, oh, I'm at the final boss. What in the world? So then I was like, all right, I got to finish this tonight. I was shaking so much. I think it was like when I kept teleporting in and out of that second phase, I was like, all right, I know what to expect. I'm listening for the sound cues. I got my headphones on. I cranked them up so I could hear that shing, shing. <laughs> I was just like, all right, here comes the dodge. Get ready. That second area was crazy. The damage reduction from the E I had was awesome. And then when the dog howled, that little, that holding down Q helped out a lot. That had a huge damage reduction. I was sitting there just taking hits while I was looking for ammo and stuff. Um, excellent game. And I've only scratched the surface. I would bet that I probably saw maybe 25% of the game as far as like what kind of stuff you can collect. If you take all the weapons I didn't have, all the rings, amulets, pretty much everything. All the different armor sets you can get. I bet I only have like 25% of all that stuff. As far as like exploring the world, I'm hoping I can keep going. I really want to see what happens after the credits now. So what I'll do is I'll just transition. I'm going to sit here and just like rest my hands. I played for about two hours and 17 minutes and 15 seconds so far in this session. So anyways, hang tight. Love you all. Here we go. Interesting. All right, how much time did this take me? 11 hours, 6 minutes. I read a lot as like a 15 to 20 hour game, so that kind of... It seems a little fast, but I have seen people post full game videos where they didn't do anything but the primary objective, and they've beat the game in like 5 hours, so... Um, I mean, if you can first try the boss, I guess that also helps. I would imagine that final boss is not easy at all if you just run through everything because you don't have enough... Like, I didn't have the AR-47 leveled up that much. That gun is really nasty. Like, but I was partly thinking, middle of that last boss fight, I was like, I should try the LMG out. So what happens now if I just start the game up? Does it just put me back before that boss every time, or how does it work? So we saw the extra cutscenes and everything. I have a trait point. Okay. Let me just see. Hold on. If I go here, does it say there's a primary objective at all? Be the best way to find this out, really. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's done. I don't know why I expected so. These three areas were on the map for a while. Then we finally got here, which this is my favorite section. And then we got here. I thought, okay, we got a few more. Then I realized, oh, this is a joined game. This is that. This might be for DLC. I'm guessing down the road. If I had to guess, there's like no reason to ever come back here. I feel like. This is one of those areas... Okay, it says primary objective. But there's 
nothing lit up. So, all right, that's it for now. Thank you all for watching. I guess we'll spend the final trait point here. Uh, let's see. Endurance. There we go. I think that's everything. So, all right. Love you all. Best lines ever. If you want any bonus content for this game, let me know. I'm definitely going to keep playing it. I'm probably going to, like, mix this in with my... Right now, my games I'm currently playing as of July 2023 in my spare time, that is. Uh, Diablo 4, Apex Legends, and now it's going to be this. I'll kind of rotate probably what I play each day. Uh, but anyways, love you all. Thanks for uh, joining me on this series. It's been one of the best games I've played of this type in a very long time. Which I don't even know if we've got anything like this in a while. Because I think Elden Ring might be the only other game kind of like it. But even then, it's a completely different type of game. This has guns. But, you know, the Dragon Hearts are pretty much like the flasks and all that in Dark Souls. So, anyways, love you all. Take it easy.